Sorry I got cut off in the previous video, my iPhone battery ran out. Um, but I was just saying at the end that I was a bit concerned that me talking about my attacks might be a trigger for other people um, experiencing anxiety to have an attack. So um, I think I'll make that video the first part with me describing um, what it's like to experience an attack. But then the second part I will talk about um, what to do if you have anxiety um, and there won't be anything about attacks so it won't be a trigger hopefully for anyone um, okay admin out the way um, I was just saying that uh, well I was going to say that as well as kind of experiencing um, the, the symptoms that I did, there was also times when I shook and times when I just, I used to feel myself going completely red and, 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 and really blush and, um, you know, the oxygen, there's not enough oxygen to go around the body, is there, because you're so um, in such a state of tension and it's fine, you know, it's, it's okay, but you do think everyone's judging me, everyone's looking at me and thinking the fuck, what, what's wrong with him? And you just feel you want to just the ground just to open up and swallow you in I used to say to myself, oh well tomorrow today I'm feeling really anxious but tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be better you know, it's just a bad day, but it wasn't like that. And you can't just switch off the anxiety. It literally takes over your life and it controls every aspect of it. And when it does that, then you need to talk to someone. It's nothing to feel ashamed about. It's not a sign of weakness at all. No way. talk to your GP about it, you think to yourself, oh, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to talk about my anxiety and I'm just going to waste their time and they're just going to dismiss it, because um, we, because everyone gets anxiety and, you know, they'll think that um, I'm just exaggerating it, or you, they won't do that, they'll, they shouldn't do they will sit and they will listen and they will understand and support you. And if they're not helpful, then there's Anxiety UK maybe, which is a great charity. Um, and they'll definitely support and, and, and help you and, and give you guidance. Don't go through it alone and, and, and don't bottle it up because it's such a relief in talking about some of these things. Um, and talking about how much you worry about what other people think it does alleviate some of that when you're going through an attack really try and focus in on your body it's hard, it takes a bit of time but if you can begin to focus in on your posture because my posture was so closed, it was so collapsed and, and caved in you know, like um, a tortoise, when a tortoise um, is fearful, they duck into their shell. I just wanted to close up, and I, I tried as best I could with my posture, and um, really bring focus into that, and, and like with your back, try and, try and straighten your back, and, and, and really try and relax with it. Picture a mountain. Picture a mountain in your back and, and, and maybe that image will, will strengthen it and, and you'll release some of the tension flowing through it and then your hands as well, you know, your, your hands will be really tense. Maybe you'll, I used to grab onto something like a pen or the phone and I'd hold it as tight as I could as a kind of safety and try, try and release that, um, release the pen and, and and release 
the grip that you have maybe um, and your feet really feel your feet on the floor and feel feel how grounded you are you know nothing can no amount of anxiety is gonna is gonna change that I mean you can you, you are really really grounded and um, I feel like I'm talking shit um, I, I'm just um, trying to uh, show you ways that help me with, with my attacks um, I think physicality has a lot to do with it because you do go into this um, uh, what is it, the flight or fight mode where you just um, completely tense up and if you can really learn to relax with your body again relaxation maybe before bed in the mornings as well in the mornings particularly because you wake up and you, you're so fearful of your day so maybe in the mornings a bit of relaxation um, tensing and, and letting go of that tension is really good in, in places like your hands and um, your shoulders and your face you just scrunch it up and release all that tension that's really useful and then also meditation or, or yoga if you begin to do that regularly again you'll you'll hopefully find yourself um, more relaxed in, in situations of anxiety um, and again it's not a sign of weakness don't be afraid to if you're feeling really anxious in a situation don't be afraid to just leave I sometimes did that, especially in social situations when I didn't know people. <sighs> if I had to get out, I would get out. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. I, I feel really anxious and, and you need to do it for yourself and, and, try and try and really see yourself as a friend and, and be kind to yourself when you're going through it. I know it's hard. Um, yeah, I hope that might be helpful to some people. I feel like I've waffled on and, I don't know, talked a lot of crap. But I, um, I know what it's like, and if you are going through it, then don't feel alone, you know. Um, because it really does feel isolating, because... No one talks about it. Everyone's got to a bit strong and, and, and like nothing can phase them. Especially, you know, during maybe this really, these really hard few years with the recession and things like that. Anxiety, cases of anxiety have shot up. Um, reported, cases of ang reported cases of anxiety and it's no surprise. Um, but it's okay, it's okay to feel that way. You can, you can get through it. So anxiety doesn't control your life. I promise you. Okay, um, thanks very much. Cheers.